You guys asked, at least some of you, if I could explain the entity system. And I will try. Uh, I will be using the, the game that is based on the 14th tutorial. <laughs> tutorial 14. So, uh, open entities.lua inside the state, the example state. And, okay. I'm not sure where to begin, but uh, first in this script, let's open a cool program called Paint. It's really good to, to make awesome illustrations. <laughs> awesome illustrations. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're ready. Uh, first of all, we declare a table. A table is like a unfilled list or a um, a large shelf with lots of small shelves in it and uh, infinite shelves. So let's say we have a table like this, like on Excel. Sorry, can't really paint straight here. This table is called ENTS. ENTS. This is because we declared it here in the start of the script. In ENTS we have a table called OBJECTS. So let's make a line down here called OBJECTS. OBJECTS. There we go. So we have a a table inside a table called a nested table. In each of the three uh, like boxes in the objects table, we can put small pieces of code and data to uh, define a object in the game. Like, uh, for example, a box that we made, or a zeppelin. Let's take a zeppelin. A zeppelin would have its own table inside one of these boxes down here. So let's say we made a zeppelin. Then we'd, we would have a new table in here. Let's make it another color. Let's make it uh, red. It would be uh, a zeppelin. It's called sep. So if we made a sep entity with the entities.create function, we would get a little table inside the object table, which is a table in the entities table. <laughs> and it also has small, small rows and columns inside itself, where we can fit information and such. Uh, the data, which, uh, when you create the entity, it will set um, default values. Like the x and the y position and such, if you don't already have it declared in the entities.create function. It will put it inside the zeppelin table, if we make a zeppelin of course. And take some uh, table data from a file that we have already made, which says what kind of uh, data which will be put inside the zeppelin folder when we create it. We can always add more information and columns and rows and yeah, tables, if so, inside the Zeppelin table, if we want to. But the sep.lua sep defines what information will be put inside the Zeppelin table when we create it. So one of these boxes inside the table here will be the load function. Another will be the set point function and the update. And by doing this, we can easily make a new zeppelin by doing the ends.create function again. And we get another set of the same data without having to uh, code it again and again and again if we want three zeppelins on the map. We don't have to code it ourselves. We just have to take the information that we have said is the default information for a zeppelin, put it inside a table, and use it from the table instead of from the default data that we have in zeppelin.lua. Zeppelin.lua is like a template for a zeppelin. 
Same with all the other entities that we've made, the bullet, the tanks, the box. And the base is just a template for the entities again. So, <laughs> that's like an explanation of what the table has to do with this system. Uh, the rest of the functions we have in the entities.lua file is uh, it's just uh, uh, methods of, uh, of editing and changing the information we've put inside the tables here. They are not going to change anything m uh, written inside the zeppelin.lua file. Like uh, the draw function will only get information from the zeppelin uh, from the entities that we made, for example the zeppelin here, and use it to draw to draw the object on the screen. For example, we could make a, a zeppelin entity in the game and change it its image, its texture to look like a balloon, not a zeppelin. But the rest of the zeppelins will still have the zeppelin image. So the entity system is just an easy way to copy, to make uh, more objects that looks the same without having to use 50 years to make the game. And it's very easy to modify, edit, uh, do whatever you want with it. I'm not good at explaining stuff, I guess. <laughs> well, at least I tried. See you.